Everybody, here we are at a, well, drinking point. There's a lion just behind the termite mound, and there is a wildebeest walking slowly towards the water, very thirsty. We're in the Masai Mara, completely live, and that wildebeest might not be live for too much longer. We're right on the banks of the Mara River. The wildebeest has seen the lions, and apparently these lions have killed twice here today already. And during the migration season, what happens is that although they may well be satiated full of wildebeest and zebra and whatever else meat, they will kill again and again. It's just the instinct that all cats seem to have. Isn't that special? Now, you can ask us any questions or comments that you might have. You can put them in the comment section, and I'll do my best to answer them as we watch a hunt beginning to brew. They're going down to have a drink now. We'll hopefully get a view if she does charge. They're masking her now, of course, and she's not the only lion there. There are other lions. I'm trying to spot exactly where they are. I can't see. There they go. Where we go? No. False alarm. Let's swing to the left, maybe. No. False alarm. Isn't that dust beautiful? There's a storm brewing as well, just adding to the atmosphere. I'm just going to peer in there with my binoculars and see if I can't see. It could easily have been a crocodile in the river that gave them a fright. And this wind, of course, will lend itself to a successful hunt. Now there's dust. No one can see what's going on. I can't see what's going on. Fildebiz can't see what's going on. Lion probably can't see what's going on. Isn't this exciting? What an eerie atmosphere. Hello, Karen. You say, wow. Well, yes, quite. <laughs> it is very wow indeed. I can't... S I can't see the lion anymore. But hopefully it will come into view again. Can you see it there, jean -Dre? That's the mound where she was. There we go. There she comes. Here she goes. She's chasing down. And she'll come up there. There she comes. Isn't that spectacular? Look how fat she is. She does not need a meal at all. And let's just check. I will keep looking around to see if there isn't perhaps another lion there. There's dust everywhere. There's... The pounding of hooves over the road in front of us. That lioness also seems to be uh, lactating, I think, so she's probably got some cubs. Now, excuse my disheveled state, we'd only just got here when she decided that she was on the hunt. We'll sit here for a little bit longer and see what happens. And like I say, apparently this pride, which is probably the Mogoro pride, has been around this area all day long, doing exactly what they're doing now. And Valerie, you say she's huge. I couldn't agree more. I think she's massive. But that panting is not because it's hot out here. It's not warm. It's probably about 23 degrees Celsius, 73 Fahrenheit odd. And that lion is panting because she's full of meat. She's been eating. Well, everyone, that is very exciting indeed. We'll sit here for a little bit longer. If she decides to get up and hunt more thirsty wildebeest, we will let you know. Until then, well, you better get on with your day.